today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study his word. And like always, we're going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper, and your Bible. And let's get started. Who was Joseph, the father of Jesus? Who was Joseph, the father of Jesus? Joseph, we understand that he was the earthly father of Jesus Christ, who is the son of God. And Joseph was a descendant of uh, King David, and he lived in Nazareth in Galilee. And he was uh, pledged to be married to Mary. The Bible tells us in uh, Luke chapter 1 verse 27, to a virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Okay. So, the Bible tells us that Mary became pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Matthew 1 verse 18. The Bible says, Now the, uh, the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was exposed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. And of course, that is not a, a child of Joseph. So therefore, we can understand that uh, Joseph can be understood clearly as Jesus' earthly adoptive uh, father, but not his biological father. And the Bible does tell, tell us a little bit about Joseph, but doesn't really tell exclusively about you know the story of Joseph and who he was in, in details, okay? But we have some clues here and there. But of course, given the glimpses into his character, we do have a, a little conclusion that Joseph was a humble man. He was a man who cared deeply about obeying God. For example, in the book of Matthew, we see that Joseph was a faithful man to the law. The Bible tells us in Matthew 1 verse 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her public example, was minded to put her away privately. You see? So he was faithful to the, the, to the law. He was a just man. And of course we understand that an angel of the Lord appeared unto Joseph and encouraged him not to be afraid to take Mary as his wife. And Joseph immediately obeyed. Look at uh, the book of Matthew 1 verse 24. We can read to 25. Then Joseph being raised from sleep did as the angel of the Lord had bid, uh, bidden him and uh, took him uh, his wife and uh, knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus. You see that? And of course, later in the book of Matthew, an angel again appears to Joseph and commands him to take Mary and Jesus to Egypt because King Herod wanted to kill Jesus. Again, Joseph immediately obeys the angel's command and takes his family to Egypt, saving Jesus' life. Matthew 2 verse 14. It says, When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. And was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I, uh, have I called my son. Then, uh, of course, we understand after Herod died, an angel once again appeared to Joseph and commanded him to return to Israel, which he did. Okay, uh, Matthew 2 verse 19. But when Herod was dead, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. And uh, of course, you know the story. So, this one presents a pattern of a, an obedient man. Joseph was an obedient man. And the Bible also indicates that Joseph was a, a kind, a self-sacrificing man. Although he had legal right to divorce Mary when uh, he found out that she was pregnant, he intended not to do so quietly 
because he did not want to bring any public shame or disgrace on, on Mary or her family. Think about this. In Matthew 1.19, the Bible says, Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. Another thing is that uh, after their marriage, Joseph did not even have a sexual relation with, the, with Mary until after Jesus was born. In this way, Joseph safeguarded the validity of the virgin birth. Matthew 1 verse 25, it says, And knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son and called his name Jesus. Following Caesar's edict, Joseph took Mary to be counted in the census in Bethlehem where his ancestors were from. The book of Luke 2 verse 4 to 5 it tells us this, And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. Now, after that, uh, about 40 days, 40 days after Jesus was born, Joseph, along with Mary, uh, took Jesus to Jerusalem to have him dedicated at the temple and uh, as always was uh, required by the law of Moses. In the book of Luke, uh, chapter 2 verse 22 it says and when the days of our purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord as it is written in the law of the Lord every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord so they went uh, to have Jesus dedicated another incident uh, further shows that Joseph commitment to keeping the law was real because every year Jesus' parents, that is Joseph and Mary, they went to Jerusalem for the festival of the Passover think about the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 21 it says now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover so this one shows that uh, Joseph was committed to keeping the law and the uh, on one such trip, when Jesus was a young boy, Jesus uh, stayed behind at the temple, uh, temple in uh, Jerusalem while his parents began making their way home. And when Mary and Joseph realized Jesus wasn't uh, we, we, in their caravan to Galilee, they searched anxiously for three days before finding him sitting among uh, some teachers of the law. Think about this in the, the book of Luke chapter 2 verse 48 it says and when they saw him they were amazed and his mother said unto him son why hast thou thus dealt with us behold because thy father and i have sought thee sorrowing jesus was left <laughs> he was uh, left in the temple just talking to all the men and discussing different things and when jesus uh, also was an adult people often refer to him as the son of joseph Think about uh, Luke 4 verse 22. It says, And all bear him witness and wondered as the gracious words which proceeded out of the mouth, out of his mouth. And they said, Is this not Joseph's son? Also the book of John 1 verse 45. It says, Philip findeth Nathanael and said unto him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophet did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. John 6, 42. And they said, Is not this Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How is it often that he says, I came down from heaven? <laughs> so guys, although the gospel writers were careful to maintain that Jesus' true father was God, with Joseph being more of a foster father or a stepfather, it was important for Jesus to be uh, known also with Joseph because uh, he was his foster father. 
all right and the people also refer to Jesus as the carpenter's son Matthew 13 verse 55 is this not the carpenter's son is this not his, is is not his mother called Mary and his brethren James and Joseph and Simon and Judas these were the other step uh, brothers of Jesus so this all is suggested that uh, Joseph worked as a carpenter or some other type of a uh, handyman in uh, the Greek word uh, carpenter could also be translated as a stone muscle uh, or a metal lagist <laughs> or a word, hard word there and uh, whatever Joseph uh, particular voc- uh, vocation was it is evident that he worked hard to provide for his family always doing what he could to help Jesus grow in wisdom and stature the book of Luke 2 verse 52 says and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man and we see that uh, Joseph isn't mentioned in any of the stories of Jesus adult ministry while Mary his mother occasionally is mentioned um, let, let, let's see there are some places where we see Mary mentioned but uh, Joseph is not that much mentioned think about this Mark 3 verse 31 then came then his brethren and his mother and uh, standing without sent unto him calling him think about John 2 verse 1 and the third day there was a marriage uh, in Cana of Galilee and the mother of Jesus was there and also uh, John 19 verse 25 says now they are stood by the cross Jesus his mother and his mother's sister Mary the wife of Cleophas and Mary Magdalene so the absence of uh, Joseph's uh, you know Joseph himself in the stories of Jesus ministry has led many to believe that uh, probably Joseph died sometime bef- uh, between when Jesus was a young boy and when uh, he launched his public uh, uh, ministry as an adult uh, of course in Luke 3 verse 23 around there and the fact that Jesus uh, as he was dying committed the care of his mother to John gives a strong indication that Joseph had indeed passed away by the time uh, Jesus was dying at the cross. Think about this in John 19 verse 26 uh, to 27. It says, When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then said he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home so what's the conclusion although the bible does not give many specifics about um, who joseph was as a person and the bible records no actual words that uh, joseph spoke we know enough to see that uh, he was a humble man who was uh, faithfully obeying god and honored others okay he took responsibility and worked hard to provide for his family. These are all godly characteristics that we should seek to replicate. And that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you and hope you've learned something. And uh, remember you can always uh, download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite our podcasts and uh, subscribe to our channel so that you can always be notified whenever you post another Bible question. And if you like to get saved or you need a step-by-step order of salvation so that you can well preach to a friend or family, or maybe you feel led to support our ministry, please visit our website, keithmuoki.com. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one. <music>